how much power is your HVAC equipment using? How much does that power cost? And how much money can you save by switching from a less efficient electric furnace to a high efficiency mini split heat pump? You're watching HVAC tips for homeowners slash technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. Today I'm gonna to teach you a simple HVAC math calculation that I use in the field to help me understand how much the homeowner or customer is spending on their HVAC equipment each month. I can figure out how much they're spending on their current pre-existing inefficient equipment and then I can understand how much they're going to spend for their new high efficiency equipment that I'm installing or have installed. This will help me to understand when they're gonna get their return on their investment or estimate when they're gonna get that return and then it just adds value to me and it adds value to the customer. This is a very simple math calculation. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil or a pen, and a calculator. And then we just need to know volts, amps, and watts. And I'll explain that. If you watched the video titled, How Efficient Are Mini Splits? You saw the electric furnace that I took out and the new mini split that I put in. In today's video, we're gonna use the readings that we took in that video with the multimeter. So if you wanna go check out that video, click the link right here or click the link down in the description and then you'll understand why I'm using those specific uh, readings today and I'm using those in the formula that we're gonna have on the whiteboard behind me. Let's go. First, what is the formula we are going to use to figure out power? And what is the unit of measurement for power? Volts times amps equals watts. Voltage, amperage, watts. Watts is the unit of measurement for power. So when we find watts, we find power. Voltage is electrical pressure, amperage is electrical current, and watts is electrical power. We used our meter to find the volts, we used our meter to find the amps, and now we're gonna take those two and we're gonna multiply them and that's gonna give us the watts. Then we're gonna talk about kilowatts, kilowatt hours, we're gonna talk about the electric company, and then we're gonna figure out a monthly figure for how much the electrical consumption for the furnace was, and then the mini split. The next thing I wanna teach you is that 1,000 watts equals one kilowatt, and one hour of runtime equals one kilowatt hour. So if our equipment is using 1,000 watts, that means it's using one kilowatt. If it runs for one hour using one kilowatt, that is considered one kilowatt hour. And I need you to know that moving forward. Now that you know the formula, we can figure out how much power we're using. But to figure out how much the power cost, we have to know what our electric company in our area charges per kilowatt hour. In my area, they charge eight to nine cents. So we're gonna use eight cents per kilowatt hour, and we're gonna utilize that in our calculations to figure out how much we're paying each month. Now let's figure out how much power we're using for the electric furnace. So I've got electric furnace, volts times amps equals watts. Using our meter in the previous video, we saw that we had around 240 volts. Then we saw that we were using 43 amps. So our electrical current was 43 amps. We take 240 times 43 and that equals the watts. 10,320 watts. Then to get the kilowatt, we're gonna take and divide 10,320 by 1,000, and that's gonna give us our kilowatts, which is gonna be 10.32. Now I'm gonna use the calculator and show you how you can do that. Now we're using the calculator, 240 times 43 equals, and that is 10,320. We're going to take that and divide that by 1,000 equals 10.32. This is our kilowatts, and if it runs for one hour, then this is 10.32 kilowatts per hour. Now, let's figure out exactly how much it's going to cost now that we know the power we're using. Now we know how much power we're using, 10.32 kilowatts. Now let's use 10.32 and let's say we have an average of six hours of runtime per day. 
We're going to take the 10.32, we're going to times it by six hours, and then we're going to times that by what the electric company charges per kilowatt hour, which is eight cents. So if we put that into a calculation, our kilowatt hours times our runtime hours, six times the amount of cents we're charged per kilowatt hour, it equals 4.95. So we can round that up to around $5. So it costs about $5 per day to run that electric furnace for six hours. Then we take the $5 and we times that by 30 days and then we get a figure, $150. So keep this figure in your mind. Electric furnace cost us $150 to run per day. Now let's put that in the calculator, 10.32 times six hours of runtime times 0.08, that's eight cents, equals 4.95. Well, let's round that up to five, times that by 30 days at six hours a day would equal $150. Next, we're gonna calculate how much power the mini split was using. So we had 240 volts, times by 4.5 amps equals 1,080 watts. Then we take 1,080 watts, we divide it by 1,000 to equal the kilowatts, 1.08. And if we assume that we have a perfect power factor and that the mini split runs for one whole hour, it would be 1.08 kilowatt per hour. Now, let's figure out exactly how much this mini split is going to cost to run six hours a day. We're going to assume six hours a day and times that by 30 days at eight cents. Let's do our first calculation, 240 times by 4.5, and then that will equal 1,080. Divide that by 1,000 will equal our kilowatt. If we run for one whole hour, then that is kilowatt per hour. Now let's figure out how much we're spending to run that mini split six hours per day as our average runtime hours per day times that by 30 days. So we have our 1.08 kilowatt per hour times by six hours times by the amount the electric company charges per kilowatt hour, eight cents equals 0.5184. We can take and round up that second number and just make it 52. So 52 cents. 52 cents times 30 days would equal 15.6. So we could make that figure uh, $16 an average for 30 days. That's one month. Now let's compare our two figures. Before moving forward, let's put that into the calculator. 1.08 times by six hours times by 0 0.08 would equal 0.51. Let's take n times that by 30 days, equal about 15.55. So we can say that's about $16 per month uh, for the power cost of the mini split. Now we've been able to figure out how much power we were using and we figured out how much that power cost. So that electric furnace is around $150 per month, and that is $1,800 per year. The mini split is around $1,600 per month, and that equals $192 per year. Now, this is just based off of the average of six hours of runtime per day. You may have more runtime, you may have less. We have different seasons throughout the year, so we have different ambient temperatures outside, which are gonna cause different conditions for the equipment. But if you take this average right here, you take this figure, you take 1,800 and you subtract 192, that's around $1,600 of savings. So in five years, that's around $8,000. So in five years, the customer has paid for the equipment cost and then over the next five years, they save $8,000. That's how valuable this information is. It's valuable to the homeowner, the customer, and it's valuable to the HVAC contractor and the technician. Because then knowing this information, they can offer the option that they know is going to be beneficial for both them and the customer. 
Now you see how expensive that electric furnace was to run. I'm glad that the customer chose the option, which I offered. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll put it down in the link in the description. But this creates a happy experience for not only me, but the customer. They love the way the unit looks because it's aesthetically pleasing, and they love the electric bill because it is cheaper to run than that expensive, inefficient electric furnace. I encourage all technicians and contractors out there to be willing to study and to learn how to install the new technology that's coming out and how to work on it. That way you can offer it as an option and you can have a happy experience like the one I had with the video titled, How Efficient Are Mini Split? I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners slash Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.